What happens if you nuke the deepest place on Earth? Spoiler, it's not great. Imagine the deepest hole on Earth. Now imagine dropping the biggest bomb ever built into it. No, this isn't a Bond villain's to-do list. It's today's video. We're diving into what would happen if humanity said, hey, what if we just blew up the Mariana Trench? Spoiler alert, fish won't be the only things panicking. This is the Tsar Bomba, the Soviet Union's not-so-subtle way of saying, we win the explosion game. 58.6 megatons of pure, oops, did we just shake the planet? That's over 3,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Now pair that with the Mariana Trench, Earth's own underwater abyss, nearly seven miles deep, darker than your ex's soul, and under more pressure than a student loan borrower. So, what happens when you drop that into this? Let's go full Michael Bay and find out. First things first. Before we go nuclear, let's talk logistics. Because nuking the ocean isn't as easy as dropping a Mentos into a Diet Coke. So here's the problem. Water pressure at the bottom of the trench is insane. We're talking 1,100 times normal atmospheric pressure. That's like trying to eat a taco in the middle of a black hole. A regular nuke casing would get squashed like a tin can in a trash compactor. No explosion, no fireworks, just a very expensive radioactive pancake sitting at the bottom of the sea, glowing ominously for the next few thousand years. Not exactly cinematic, but wait, there's more. What if we could get the bomb down there intact? All right, now we're cooking. Let's say James Cameron lets us borrow his deep sea sub and we actually detonate the bomb. What happens? If it goes off around three to five miles deep, here's the short list. A 400 foot tsunami slams into Japan like a wet freight train. Southeast Asia, gone surfing permanently. Half of Australia gets wet in all the wrong ways. And the US Pacific coast, say goodbye to the Golden Gate Bridge. Radiation levels spike briefly, but the real killer? That wall of water wouldn't just stop at the shore, it would keep going like your friend's bad vacation story. But what if we go full send and detonate the nuke right at the bottom of the trench? Buckle up, because now we've got tectonic plates involved. Yes, the literal building blocks of the planet. The Mariana Trench sits right where the Pacific and Philippine plates meet like the Earth's version of two stressed co-workers who've had enough. Now drop a 60 megaton stress bomb into that mix. Boom. The plates snap, causing magnitude 12 earthquakes. That's off the chart level chaos. Mega tsunamis return for a second act, taller than skyscrapers. Volcanoes start popping like pimples on prom night. Ash clouds blanket the skies. Acid rain becomes your new weather forecast and you thought Mondays were bad. Okay, but what if things get really weird? Let's say the explosion punches through the Earth's crust. Suddenly, magma everywhere. You get a magma fountain and you get a magma fountain. Maybe a new continent forms, cool. Maybe Earth gets nudged slightly off orbit, less cool. Best case, we get a frozen wasteland or a roasted desert. Worst case, Earth goes full Humpty Dumpty and cracks in two. So yeah, maybe don't do that. The good news, this is all hypothetical. The bad news, humans have flirted with worse ideas before. Thankfully, after the Tsar Bomba test in 1961, world leaders looked at each other and said, hey, let's not do this underwater. Hence the 1963 Partial Test Ban Treaty banning nuclear tests in the ocean, outer space, and your neighbor's backyard. So while we could have nuked the trench, turns out sanity did win for once. If this video made you laugh, gasp, or question humanity's decision-making skills, hit that like button like it's a detonator. Except, you know, without the whole world ending part. And subscribe for more science, sarcasm, and stuff you definitely didn't learn in school. Got an idea for the next what if? Drop it in the comments. No bombs required. Catch you in the next implosion of curiosity.